Here's some details on the uppercut or straight punch in this section. So we end up here and we want to do an uppercut. Or, like I mentioned, you can just do a straight punch. Now when I'm doing uppercut, one detail to notice is that I want to combine three different things. Number one, I want to combine the power of pulling this back. I'm going to pull this back as if I'm elbowing someone behind me. The second power is a slight rotation of my hips from this 45 degree angle to this angle. Another power is the dropping of my elbow. So from the back, you can see my elbow is dropped. So if you combine all three of them, that's how you can get power from this strike. So pull, twist, drop elbow, and out. One more thing you can add is a little rotation of your wrist at the end. So if I'm here, uh, like this, so I'm pulling back, twist, drop the elbow, turn the wrist. Notice that this is right on the center line. It's not here, it's not here, it's right on the center line. Now I'm exaggerating the time gap between them because actually you do it all at the same time. So that's a direct one. The direct one will go directly from here to here. Now the benefit of that is you get to your target a lot faster than if you do a circle. It depends on what you're trying to hit. So if the target is open and you don't need to go underneath, it's better to just go straight here and go straight into your target. Now if he's blocking like this, then obviously you don't want to go straight in because you can count his hands. It's best to go underneath and try to hit him in the chin. So you can do, that's why we do an uppercut from underneath. So that's some details on the uppercut slash straight punch.